So what have we heard, ladies and gentlemen? We've heard, and I've seen the emails, we've heard that this might affect the availability of affordable housing in the Hill Country. Well, we've heard that it's going to completely stop development in the area where these streams are. We've heard that it's going to limit downstream availability. Ladies and gentlemen, those are all red herrings, every single one of them. Those are siren calls. The areas that we're talking about here, when you look at the map that TCEQ has, those are very, very small stream segments. And this is not unprecedented in the state of Texas. We currently limit, in one form or another, discharge in the Highland Lakes. We currently limit discharge in the Edwards Aquifer Recharge Zone. And both of those are two of the fastest growing areas in the state of Texas. Two of the fastest growing state areas in the growth of Texas. And I've had a lot of people work with me on this bill on this floor. I thank Chairman Landgraf already, Chairman Andy Murr, Representative Kyle Biederman, uh, Representative Ben Lamont, and uh, Speaker Craddock or some that have worked with me on this bill. And I understand why the builders are opposed to it. I don't understand why they didn't come up and register against the bill, but I know why they're opposed to it now. Uh, their job is to oppose anything that may conceivably raise the cost of doing business for the people that are their members. And I get that. That's their job. That's what they're paid to do. And they are very good at it. But our job, ladies and gentlemen, our job is to protect those that don't have a lobby. And these pristine rivers don't have a lobby. All they have is the men and women that own property that perhaps for generations, and they have the river camps and the youth camps that are there because of the clarity of that water and because of those beautiful streams. And they don't have a paid lobby. They have you and I to protect them. And I've served on natural resources a long time, as I've said, and we've talked about protecting these rivers for many, many years. And today we have an opportunity to do something that in the big scheme of things is not going to take anything away from the development community of any significant nature. And when I close here, I want to read you an email that I got just this afternoon from uh, somebody who was watching this debate, and it says, Dear Representative King, I'm writing to thank you for authorizing HB 4146 and pray that you will continue the fight to protect our beautiful rivers and streams. I am from Utopia, Texas, and the Sabinow River runs right through my family's property. My great-great-grandfather, Captain William Ware, was one of the first settlers to come to this canyon and chose it for its beauty and abundance of water and wildlife. We are a small community, but we will fight hard to preserve this river that supplies the needs of everyone here. We should all fight to protect all the pristine waterways in our great state. I pray for your success in getting this bill through. Blessings, and then she signs her name. Members, we need you to stick with me on this bill. I move passage, Mr. Speaker.